Hey, welcome back YouTube, Mopar Tech. So what we have here today is a 2005 PT Cruiser with an intermittent loss of cam sensor signal. Now the setup we've got here is a breakout box hooked up to the between the PCM and the wiring harness and a Moses Modus Ultra lab scope. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is the importance of checking your cam sensor signal return at the PCM and not just simply back probing the sensor. This wiring harness is the wire is broken right here. So watch as I move this harness, you can see that the sensor signal is coming and going. Now, if I were to just simply back probe the sensor and not check it at the PCM, because this wire is not shorted directly to ground or voltage, it's just uh, creating an open. I could have still gotten a cam sensor signal uh, square wave pattern if I would just simply back probe the sensor. So it's very important to make sure that your signal is not getting interrupted back to the PCM. It's, you know, you're getting your signal from the sensor all the way back to the PCM, not just simply out of the sensor. Uh, very, very important. I've learned this the hard way numerous times, so sharing a little wisdom and information with you. So see, if we move this harness, it's just, it's there and then it's gone. So let's take a look at this diagram. What we have here is a PCM, cam sensor, five volt reference, filtered ground, and your sensor return. Now it's great to check your five volt reference at the sensor because we want to make sure what our reference voltage is and our filtered ground. In my experience, I've found that a hundred millivolt is a good voltage drop for a good filtered ground through a PCM. We've got our signal return checking it at the PCM, not just simply back probing uh, the sensor because a broken wire, in this case, uh, would if I would just back probe it at the sensor, I'd be getting a false uh, diagnosis here. I hope this was some uh, helpful information to you guys, and thanks for watching, and please subscribe to my channel.